One reason we do the research uh, um, exhibition about the period during the Second World War and about the works that, that, uh, that whose provenance is not exactly known um, is because we also want to be transparent about our situation. I mean, we, we, want to, we want to say clearly that we don't know where these come from. And it's not that we think there's a suspicious or, or a, or a, a non-suspicious origin for them. We simply don't know, and we probably will never know. Um, but I think we should be clear and, and open about that because we're a public collection. And I think the public deserve clarity and transparency from us. Um, I think the, 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 the second reason we do it is if you're doing an exhibition about politics and you ignore the politics within your own collection, then you're not being credible. You have to, I think, address your own political situation. And this is perhaps the most politically sensitive project that we could do. I think some of our colleagues think that it's incredibly stupid to do this because it might mean that some uh, issue arises where otherwise if we kept it secret, nobody would have known. But I think it's precisely in not keeping it secret that we can be credible in the rest of our political stances. And of course we risk, maybe possibly risk some of the collection. But I think if that risk is genuine, then I have a very clear answer. We shouldn't have that work.